Now at 7, the Dane County Farmer's Market has returned for the season. We take a look at the first day and what was on offer. Plus, a fire at a Verona restaurant brings multiple agencies out to fight it. But we know of this morning. And we're going to see another beautiful day today, possibly tomorrow as well. But we have an alert day for some storms. I'll have the full details coming up. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. This is Weekend Mornings. It is Sunday, April 14th. Retired MLB All-Star Pete Rose turns 83 today. Let's take a look outside this morning. Jake Montesano is in for your first one forecast. Good morning, Jacob. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, and you should have said retired baseball all-star and should be Hall of Famer Pete well, Rose. But uh, controversial I know, there. <laughs> I know there's a little controversy there, but whatever. He should be in the Hall of Fame. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, the forecast right now. 60 degrees already this morning. We are seeing mostly sunny skies, a few clouds here and there, but otherwise it is very nice already, and it's going to be even nicer during the afternoon. So looking at the current temperatures, lower 60s in the far southern portion of the state to the upper 50s, middle 50s a bit further north, and as you go further north of that towards Eau Claire, temperatures are still in the 40s, but most of Wisconsin will see high temperatures in the 70s today. So here's a look at the forecast for lacrosse. Highs will be in the middle 70s for you folks. Winds might be a little bit breezy. There is a uh, elevated fire risk, but no uh, fire weather watches or red flag warnings, but still a little bit of a fire risk today. Uh, but thankfully in southern Wisconsin, the winds aren't going to be quite as bad. So definitely enjoy the weather, but try to avoid uh, 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 creating any fires in general, though it's going to be a very nice day. It's going to be the case for our entire area as we are going to see mostly sunny skies and highs well into the 70s. But the nice weather won't last forever. I'll talk more about that coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. The kids may still be in school for another month or two, but yesterday we got one of the first signs summer in Madison is almost here with the opening of the Dane County Farmers Market. Our Brayden Ross took to the square and has this report. The sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and the largest farmer's market in Wisconsin is back. I think the weather was perfect for the first day, which might be why it's so busy here today. It's the day Madisonians look forward to all winter. I think people are ready to get out, and today, I mean, you couldn't ask. I mean, this is beautiful, beautiful. The first farmer's market of this season brought hundreds of people to the square. I'm from Fort Atkinson and we try to come every week. Everyone has their favorites. We get the spicy cheese bread every time and kettle corn. Yep, Ernie's kettle corn is a must. Thank you guys, enjoy. Yep. Joshua Keller has been selling pork and lamb at the Dane County Farmer's Market for three years now. Customers are really good here. It's just a good, they love to listen to you, let you explain what you do. And as farmers, it's really good to be transparent. It's one of seven he and his family sell at every week during the summer. This morning, we started chores at 2.30 a.m. And then we pack up and come to the market to be here by 6 o'clock. Yeah, so it's a lot. And, and we need the support for smaller family farms to stay alive. But Keller says the work is worth it to connect with his community, regular customers, and brand new ones alike. We love them. So if they're watching, I hope they see this and see that we, we truly do it gets busy, so it's hard to talk a lot, but we, we really do enjoy our conversations. If you weren't able to make it out to the first farmer's market of the year, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to come every Saturday through November. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. In more local news, some recognizable faces hit the court for the fifth annual Easter Seals Wisconsin Celebrity Basketball Game on Saturday. It all included former Badgers who hit the hardwood, supporting children and adults with disabilities. Along with pictures with Bucky, people were also able to take part in other games with basketball clinics and much more. And the Memorial Union was joined by Cardiac on campus for the fifth semi-annual ECG drive. The organization and this event promotes accessible cardiac health care and cardiac health awareness. Saturday, they offered free electrocardiograms or ECG screenings for the UW-Madison community. So basically, we have all of these different electrodes which are put on different parts of the body so that we can see the electricity of the heart from multiple positions because the standard one in the hospital where they do five, that only shows you from certain positions. But because we have ten here, it's giving us like a multi-dimension. An ECG, by the way, is a non-invasive test that determines whether or not someone has any underlying heart conditions. Firefighters work to contain a two-alarm fire at a Verona Pizza Ranch on Saturday. The call came in just around 5 p.m. to the location just off of East Verona Avenue. 
It's near the Blaine's Farm and Fleet there. A News 3 Now crew on the scene said flames and billowing smoke could be seen shooting out from the roof. First responders from Middleton, Madison, Fitchburg, Bellevue, and many more joined Verona to battle the blaze. The restaurant operator says no one was injured and the location will be closed until further notice. And Madison police are still looking to identify a woman who cut a shopper at a pick and save on Madison South Side. MPD shared these photos of a woman and her car. Police say she used a weapon to cut another shopper's face. It's believes this happened because of frustration over how long the victim took to check out. She was taken to the hospital for her injuries. If you have any information, Madison police are urging you to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen, and that is 608-266-6014. Up north in the Cooley region, Boy Scout troops from the Sparta area spent Saturday, Saturday collecting food for a local pantry. The drive is part of the Scouting for Food initiative started by the Boy Scouts of America in 1985. News 8 now followed 15 scouts from four different troops who went door to door around Sparta collecting the non-perishable food items. Uh, one, just uh, seeing the smiles on the scouts uh, as they come back uh, with food in their vehicles. They're, they're learning to give back uh, by participating in this event uh, and that there are people in need. In total, the troops were able to collect 24 shopping carts all full of food. I remember doing that when I was a Boy Scout. Super cool stuff. And to Milwaukee now, family and friends of Shade Robinson spent Saturday searching for her remains. This past week, a person of interest in the investigation into the case was charged. Maxwell Anderson has been in custody since April 4th. He's facing charges which include first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. All of these charges are related to the disappearance and now confirmed death of Shade, who went missing on April 1st. Time now is 7.07, still ahead. We take a look at some health news, including risks to risk of radon exposure. <laughs> Let's take a live look outside now at the Capitol. Jacob will have another check of the forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. Attention homeowners, Mad City Baths is looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. We want to evaluate our custom bathing solutions in real homes for safety and convenience. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. And now be one of 50 homeowners who call and receive a free installation on a new bath or shower with no interest and no payments till 2026. Senior military discounts plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate. Have your zip code and location ready to qualify. Call Mad City now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4460. That's 608-729-4466. Hello, I'm Tommy Van Ness from the Tommy Van Ness Realty Group. For over a decade, thousands of people have turned to Tommy Van Ness Realty to buy or sell their home. Because we are more than your realtor, we're your partner. If you list with us and take advantage of our extensive marketing, everyone will know your home is for sale. The Tommy Van Ness Realty team is working hard for you. Call Tommy Van Ness today at 608-395-7375. Why settle for less? Call Tommy Van Ness. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. Wake up, people. Rotten sleep means rotten moods, rotten backs, rotten health. Rotten breath goes without saying, but you're in luck. Because during the biggest sale of the season, everything is on sale. Like the Summit Queen, now only $274.99. Save up to $400 on Purple and Purple Plus mattresses and get an instant gift. Plus four years no interest and free shipping. Kick that rotten sleep to the curb. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. So, 
All of us are here to talk about trading. Right now at US Cellular, you can get a new phone without having to trade in your old one. I'll trade you my PB&J for that phone. No, kid, you don't have to trade. See, $830 off any phone at US Cellular. No trade-in needed. You drive a hard bargain. Boom, chocolate milk. You don't have to trade. I'll take the chocolate milk. Okay. Get $830 off any phone. No trade-in needed with any unlimited data plan. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for this week. It's going to be very nice again today and tomorrow before the storms move in Tuesday. And unfortunately, temperatures will be cooler after the stormy weather. Now we have an alert day for the possibility of those severe storms on Tuesday. We could see high winds, hail, maybe even an isolated tornado from these storms. And this is especially the case for southwestern Wisconsin, but all of southern Wisconsin is in the alert day. So here's a look at the severe weather outlook. A marginal risk for Madison and areas just to the west northwest and also closer to the southeast. The further north you go, especially around the Dells and north of Watertown, it looks like the severe weather risk is pretty low simply because based on the timing of when these storms will occur, they'll occur a little bit later in the night and typically when you get later and later into the night, the storms become less significant. But for those of you to the southwest of Dane County, there's a slight risk that includes Platteville, Monroe, also Prairie du Chien, and there's actually an enhanced risk further southwest of our area across portions of Iowa and Missouri. So let me take you through the timing of the storms. It's going to be dry through today and tomorrow. Looks like clouds will begin to develop later into the night on Monday. And as we get towards Tuesday morning, we are going to see some showers move through our area, but that rain will kind of struggle to move into Wisconsin throughout much of the day, even through the afternoon. So places west of Madison could see some showers during the day, but it looks like a lot of our area won't see the rain until later in the evening. Now, here's a look at when the severe weather is expected. This is around 8 p.m. is when it will start to move into Wisconsin. So those you around Platteville, uh, Prairie du Chien, expect the storms around 8 to 9 p.m. And then they will slowly move to the east northeast closer to around 9 p.m. to midnight. That looks like the time frame uh, where we could see a lot of our area experiencing the severe storms. Looks like this could last until about midnight for Dane County before it clears off to the east northeast. And those of you east and north, although the severe weather risk isn't as extreme, you folks are still expected to see some rain from this system and could possibly see some heavy rain. So here's a look at at the hazards. The biggest hazards right now look to be wind and hail. The tornado threat is there, although it is a bit lower than the wind and hail threat, but we kind of enhance it a little bit more just because obviously, you know, tornado is much more damaging than uh, wind or hail. And there's also a minor flooding risk, especially for those of you near the Rock River. We've already had a few flood warnings and the additional rain that we're expected could make the conditions down there even worse. So just be prepared for that. Now, the good news is that we are going to be dry throughout the rest of the 10 day forecast, but we are going to be cooler. Highs will be back in the 50s to upper 40s by the end of the week, but it does look to be dry for next weekend. So nice today and tomorrow, stormy Tuesday. Some of that rain could last into Wednesday as well. And then as we get towards the end of the week, we'll see the cooler temperatures, but it does look like the temperatures will begin to rebound by the beginning of next week. Jacob, thank you. Exposure to radon is the second leading cause of cancer, lung cancer in the U.S., and a new survey shows many Americans are unaware of this dangerous, odorless, uh, colorless threat that can be lurking in our homes. Radon comes from radioactive decay of uranium and is found in rocks and soil. It causes over 20,000 lung cancer deaths each year. Yet three quarters of Americans have not tested their homes, according to a new survey from the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center. And get this, more than half surveyed are not concerned about exposure. The risk of radon is related to not just the intensity at a given point in time, but the duration of time. Many schools are not tested for radon, many businesses. Non-smoking lung cancers are on the rise. Dr. David Carbone says this is likely linked to long-term exposure to radon, which can cause gene mutations leading to cancer. The gas can be found at home, school, or work, and it is important that every place is checked for radon yearly because it could save lives. In other health news, according to the American Society of Health System Pharmacists, there are 323 active drug shortages across the U.S. That is the highest number of shortages since they started tracking data back in 2001. Some of the products in short supply are oxytocin, pain and sedation medications, along with ADHD drugs. 
Manufacturers cited supply and demand, business decisions, and raw materials issues as a few reasons for the shortages. To continuing coverage, the Biden administration says it's forgiving another round of student loan debt more than $7 billion worth. The move will impact some 277,000 borrowers. It's part of a program enacted by the White House to make it easier for some specific groups of borrowers, like public sector workers, to qualify for loan forgiveness. But Republicans have sharply criticized the program. They argue the president is transferring the cost of student loan debt to taxpayers who chose not to go to college or who already paid for it themselves. The announcement will, however, impact close to 4,000 borrowers here in Wisconsin, and that's according to U.S. Education Secretary Miguel Cardona. He sat down for an exclusive interview with political reporter Will Keneally, telling these kinds of funds can have a significant impact on the local economy. That means that in Wisconsin, the local economy has $2 billion back it, there for people to buy homes, you know, for, for teachers to have a, some disposable income to maybe buy their first home or help their children go to college. This is part of an expansive one-on-one -on -one sit down Will had with the secretary. You can see the full interview this morning at 1030 on For the Record here on WIC TV3. In other political news, activists in Chicago plan to stage protests during the Democratic National Convention say that they will march with or without permits. Activist group the Coalition for March on the DNC wants to protest in Union Park, which is just a few blocks from the United Center, which will host the DNC's convention hall. However, the city rejected the request for a permit, instead telling them to protest on the south end of Grant Park, which is close to four miles away. Genocide Joe Biden, Killer Kamala, and their cabal. Stop U.S. aid to Israel. Stop arming Israel. We stand with Palestine, and we support victory and liberation for the Palestinian people. They say the Democratic Party has remained steadfast in its aiding of Israel's genocide against Palestine. Most recently, the U.S. Secretaries of State and Defense say they see no evidence of genocide despite an international court of justice ruling that Israel is committing a plausible genocide in Gaza. You're running out of time to file those tax returns. Christine Lazar has that and the details and more in this on Consumer Report. Consumer Reports wants school cafeterias to stop giving students Lunchables. The group says testing found high sodium plus levels of lead and other heavy metals that exceed California standards. Lunchables maker Kraft Heinz says lead and cadmium occur naturally in the environment and called the Consumer Reports study misleading, causing undue concern over the safety of our products, something we take seriously. All our products tested well below the acceptable limits. Inflation is on the rise. A government report shows prices increased 3.5% in March compared to last year. That's the biggest spike in six months. Increasing energy costs along with more expensive rent prices are the main reasons why. Tax day is approaching. Most Americans have until Monday, April 15th to submit their returns or request an extension. The IRS says the majority of people who qualify for refunds will see them within 21 days. The average refund is around $3,200. And those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News, Los Angeles. All right, stick around. Still a coming week in mornings. We take a look around the world with a mass stabbing bringing shock to Australia. Don't go anywhere. Jalen Banks, News 3 Now at 6 and 10, weekends moving forward. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. For affordable American-made baths and showers installed in as little as one day, homeowners trust Mad City Baths. From walk-in showers with a low-entry shower base to walk-in tubs with relaxing hydrotherapy. Plus, with Mad City's price lock guarantee, receive a free design consultation and we'll lock your price in for one year.
And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. Plus call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City. Be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. It's the biggest sale of the season at LL Flooring. Save up to 50% on over 300 floors at the Dream Floor event. Get your dream deal with 24 months special financing before April 16th. LL Flooring. Every step covered best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. So here is another look at the severe weather impacts of the upcoming storm on Tuesday. The biggest impacts look to be damaging winds and possibly some hail. The risk of tornadoes is also there, but just a little bit lower. But obviously, if a tornado forms, that could be a lot more damaging than both the wind and the hail risk. There's also a minor flood risk, especially for those of you near the Rock River. There were some flood warnings there uh, last week, still occurring for parts of Dodge County. So especially for those of you around the Rock River, the rainfall that we are expecting Tuesday may make the situation a little bit worse. So here's a look at that forecast. Again, rain is expected to move in Tuesday morning, but we're not going to see a ton of rainfall during the day. Heaviest rain will occur during the evening, especially around 9 p.m. to midnight. And there also could be some lingering showers into the day on Wednesday. Although Wednesday, the severe weather risk is very low. We're not expecting a severe weather then. But this rain could last throughout much of the day on Wednesday before finally clearing out Wednesday night. Jacob, thank you. Take a look around the world now. Tensions are rapidly growing in the Middle East. On Saturday, Iranian launched drones and missiles were shot down by the U.S. military from undisclosed bases in the region. President Biden took to social media to state the U.S. is committed to Israel's security against threats from Iran and its proxies. It came following Iran's launch targeted towards Israel in its first ever direct attack on Israeli territory. Israel's military said more than 100 drones were launched from Iran. Earlier in the day Saturday, Cardinal Timothy Dolan, the Archbishop of New York, led mass at Notre Dame of Jerusalem Center during his visit to Israel and the occupied West Bank. Dolan's visit to the region comes amid the ongoing Israel-Hamas war, calling for peace in the region. A lot of prayer, a lot of hope, a lot of uh, expression of support for all the good charity, health care, education, and prayer that's going on here. That's what's going to work. As you may recall, the war started on October 7th when Hamas killed 1,200, mostly civilian Israelis, in a surprise attack with around 250 people being taken hostage by Hamas militants. Israeli bombardments and ground offensive in Gaza have killed more than 33,000 Palestinians to date. To Australia now, in a terrifying scene at a mall in Sydney, a knife attack during the busy shopping day. People fled for their lives Saturday. However, six are dead and the nation is now in shock. Taylor Ryan has the latest. It was the last hours of a busy shopping day, the first day of school holidays in a packed Sydney shopping centre, when just after 3.30, screams rang out. There was just a guy with a machete and everyone just started running. And um, 
then I ran to a Louis Vuitton and I was banging on the glass and I was like, please just let me in. A man in his 40s with a large knife ran floor to floor, terrorising oh, shoppers in the Bondi Junction shopping complex. I saw the guy with the knife. Uh, he was wearing like a green, green like a rugby jersey. As store workers locked customers in, others tried to contain the raging attacker. Today, Bondi Junction was the scene of shocking violence but it was also witness to the humanity and the heroism of our fellow Australians. One, a senior police inspector. She was nearby and responded alone. He came out of nowhere and then he came about, not, he was a bit, not even 20 metres away from us. She told him to put, the, put it down and then she shot him. And, but yeah, he had a nice big blade, nice big blade on him. With the threat neutralised, officers did what they could for multiple victims. Five people died in the shopping centre. And I saw a mother as well. She was um, running around. She didn't know what to do. She was running back and forth, just screaming, screaming. And then there was like a pram in front of her. She was leaving it, coming back, and then she went to the pram again, picked up her baby, a couple of months old, screaming. And there was blood all over her as well. I don't know if her, her or herself, the baby was injured. In hospital, that mother, a 38-year-old woman, succumbed to her injuries, making her the sixth victim. Her nine-month-old baby remains in intensive care along with at least eight others who remain in hospitals, some with very serious injuries. Taylor. This was uh, Taylor Ryan reporting. When we come back, you look at our top morning headlines. You're watching Weekend Mornings. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. They're very concerned about the job that they do and um, very professional and, uh, like I said before, very friendly. So I appreciated that too. With more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A-plus rating with the BBB, Mad City Baths is the company to call for high-quality bath and shower installations in as little as one day. And now we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. 50 homeowners who call now will receive special savings with free installation. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts plus call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your estimate. Now be sure to have your zip code and location ready to qualify here at Mad City. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Because beauty excites. It energizes. It drops our jaws. Dilates our eyes. Makes us look twice. A beautiful home. A beautiful life is something we create. And we can start right now at Floor and Decor. Sometimes it takes a different approach to see the possibilities all around you. University's game-changing FlexPath format. Take courses on your own terms and apply the skills you learn right away. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. Wednesday at 10, when a massive renovation project began at this Beloit affordable housing complex, some residents told me they were left out in the cold. She was saying how she's sleeping in her car, and I was like, that is ridiculous. Now, dozens more are speaking out about mismanagement and unlivable conditions. I'm hurt deep down inside because I didn't have any help. So I went back to the top for answers. What this management official told me they're doing to address the allegations. Don't miss my News 3 Now update Wednesday at 10. 
It's 7.30 ahead. Details on a deadly crash in Rock County and the elevated risk for wildfires today. Your top stories are coming up. Plus, we have another beautiful day ahead. Jacob is in tracking the calm before the storm as an alert day fast approaches. And then later, Iran has launched a direct attack. Israeli officials speaking as Iran launches hundreds of rockets and missiles overnight. This morning, how the U.S. is responding. That's all ahead here on Weekend Mornings. Good morning, I'm Kyle Pazorski. It is Sunday, April 14th. We begin with those top stories this morning with the first, the multi-vehicle crash near Whitewater, which has left several people dead. It happened Saturday at the intersection of U.S. Highway 12 and East County Line Road in Lima Township. Again, that is just west of Whitewater. The driver of the passenger van went through a stop sign, hitting another van in the intersection before colliding with a truck pulling a trailer. Two women and a man were ejected from the van and were declared dead at the scene. At least eight others were injured in the crash. Video here shows a fire at a pizza ranch in Verona. It happened around 5 p.m. Saturday at the location just off of East Verona Avenue. And as you can see here, smoke and flames at some points were shooting out of the roof. First responders from multiple agencies joined Verona Fire to battle the blaze. The restaurant's operators have taken to social media, writing in part, quote, everyone is safe and that the location will be closed until further notice. And the Wisconsin DNR is saying to avoid all outdoor fires this weekend. This map here shows the elevated fire danger across the state, the yellow indicating high risk and the orange for very high. The DNR says 35 fires burned roughly 300 acres yesterday, the single most active wildfire day of the year so far. Let's check in now. Jacob Montesalon is here for your Sunday forecast. Jacob, it's going to be a pretty <laughs> darn good day overall, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this will likely be the warmest day of the year so far. Temperatures could possibly hit 80 for a few locations, although a lot of our area will stay in the 70s. Now, looking at the current conditions, already 60 degrees out, and we also are seeing mostly sunny skies and very little wind. Now, the wind might pick up a little bit for some locations, but at least here in Madison and far southern Wisconsin, the winds aren't going to be too bad. Looking at the current temperatures, 50s further north, and then as you go even north of that towards Eau Claire, we're seeing temperatures in the 40s up there. And if we look at the forecast for today, I mean, it's going to be very nice. Plenty of sunshine, highs in the middle 70s, a little bit breezy for you folks in La Crosse. Not quite as windy for us here at Madison, but the forecast beyond that will be very similar. Plenty of sunshine, highs in the middle 70s. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather, if, especially if you didn't yesterday, because we may not see temperatures this nice for quite a while afterwards. So we are going to possibly be seeing highs in those lower 80s near the Illinois border, but a lot of our area will stay in the 70s. Now tomorrow will also be very nice. We'll see more sunshine. It will be a little bit cooler, but still could see those highs near 70 for a lot of our area. But unfortunately, the good news is not going to last forever. Now, as we look at Tuesday, we have that alert day in the forecast. This is for all of southern Wisconsin, but especially the southwestern portion of the state. I'll talk through the forecast on this coming up in just a little bit. All right, Jacob, thank you. On Saturday, Iran launched a historic attack against Israel, sending drones and missiles towards Israeli territory in response to an airstrike from Israel earlier this month. But Israel says most of the weapons were intercepted and damage on the ground was minimal. CBS's Bradley Blackburn has the latest on the conflict. The battle lit up the night sky over Jerusalem. Israeli air defenses appearing to intercept incoming Iranian strikes. Tonight, wide-scale attack by Iran is a major escalation. Israel's military said Iran fired more than 300 missiles and drones towards Israel, and 99% were intercepted. They reported minor damage to a military base and said a 10-year-old girl was severely injured by shrapnel, but there were no other known casualties. We're operating at full force to defend the state of Israel and the people of Israel. Overnight in Tehran, crowds celebrated Iran's first ever direct attack on Israeli territory. Iran's supreme leader had vowed to respond after a strike on Iran's consulate in Syria at the beginning of the month that killed seven military officials. With drones still in the air, Iran's embassy to the U.N. posted on X, the matter can be deemed concluded, going on to warn Israel and the U.S. against further action. There is a significant potential for an escalation into a broader uh, regional conflict. President Biden cut short a trip to Delaware to return to the White House, where he met with national security leaders. The White House said the president spoke by phone with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, reiterating the U.S.'s ironclad commitment to Israel's security. 
The Pentagon said U.S. forces intercepted dozens of missiles and drones during the attack. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. British and French fighter jets also assisted with the defense of Israeli territory. President Biden will convene a meeting today with leaders of the G7 to coordinate a diplomatic response. And legislators are also weighing in with Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan of Madison writing on X last night, quote, everyone must stop aggressions, including in Gaza, before going on to say, quote, with a priority on human life, not war. Back here in Madison, an early morning fire on Saturday on the city's east side has left at least one person displaced. Madison Fire Department was dispatched to the 4,000 block of Nakusa Road at around 5.10 a.m. after a caller reported smoke in the hallway. Fire officials say upon arrival, the residents were evacuating and an occupant was sitting outside. That person reported there was a fire in her unit. Fire crews located the apartment and confirmed there was a fire that was put out by automatic sprinklers. Fire crews later shut down electricity to the apartment and assisted with removing water from the first floor hallways. This morning, nearly 30 years after the so-called trial of the century, the death of O.J. Simpson this week is prompting new questions about his life and estate. CBS's Elise Preston is in Los Angeles with more. Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder. After a majority black jury acquitted O.J. Simpson of murder in 1995, a majority white jury would find him liable in the wrongful death civil trial two years later. He was ordered to pay the Goldman and Brown families more than $33 million, the lion's share of that sum has never been paid. And Goldman's attorneys now say the amount owed with interest is more than $100 million. The executor of Simpson's estate told the Las Vegas Review Journal, it's my hope that the Goldmans get zero, nothing. After Simpson's death, the Goldman family posting this, the hope for true accountability has ended. It's very much unclear if Simpson had any assets. This as the memories continue to swirl of that unprecedented cultural spectacle, the people versus O.J. Simpson. It had issues of race, it had issues of domestic violence. Eight months before her murder, Nicole Brown Simpson called 911. What does he look like? He's O.J. Simpson. I think you know his record. Could you just send somebody okay. over here? Hey, just stay on the line. I don't want to stay on the line. He's going to beat the <laughs> Wait a minute. I think what the O.J. Simpson case really did was highlight just what a victim looks like, right? Or what a victim could look like. Elise Preston, CBS News. Time now is 7.38, still ahead. Shane Hogan has a new health conversation on keeping your kids' skin healthy. Stick around, we're back in a moment. with rotten sleep during the biggest sale of the season at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale. Like the Summit, now only $274.99. Plus four years, no interest, and free shipping. Kick that rotten sleep to the curb only at Denver Mattress. Attention homeowners, time is running out to call Mad City Baths as we look for 50 homeowners who need a new bath or shower. Choose from premium wall patterns including Santa Cruz and Arctic ice, infused with microband for easy cleaning. In addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for eco sky windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance during this program to be one of 50 homeowners who receive promotional pricing with free installation on a new bath or shower. No interest and no payments till 2026. Senior and military discounts. And remember, it's your last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with estimate. Zip code and location are important. Call Mad City Baths now. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. What straps gold to a rocket and hurdles it into space? Boring does. Boring makes vacations happen. Early retirement's possible. And startups start up. Because it's smart, dependable, and steady. All words you want from your bank. For nearly 160 years, PNC Bank has been brilliantly boring, so you can be happily fulfilled. Which is pretty unboring if you think about it. Are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? 
Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Choice Hotels is a family of brands that helps you get the most for your money so you can be any traveler you want to be. You could be a free hot breakfast hero in a comfort hotel. Yes! That's how you waffle! Mr. This Script got a plot twist at a Radisson Hotel. A business big leaguer. Go for key. Even the ultimate pool float inflator. With 22 brands and the best value for your money, Choice Hotels has a stay for any you. Stay twice and get a free night when you book direct at choicehotels.com. Gotta get the corners. Don't put up with rotten sleep during the biggest sale of the season at Denver Mattress. Right now, everything is on sale. Like the Summit, now only $274.99. Plus four years, no interest, and free shipping. Kick that rotten sleep to the curb only at Denver Mattress. Let's check out our weather photo of the day. This was sent in by Sandy. And as I've been saying, you folks have been awesome with your weather submission. If you'd like to submit your own photo, you can through our website. Go to channel3000.com, click on the weather tab, and then scroll down until you see post your own. It is as simple as that. Now, I've been talking about the rain we're expecting on Tuesday. Our entire area will see quite a bit of rain, even though not our entire area will see severe weather. But... The rain was definitely a welcoming sign for some. Here's a look at our current drought monitor in areas just to the northwest of Madison, still under a severe drought. And this includes the cross with the moderate drought for those surrounding areas, abnormally dry uh, just to the north of that. But thankfully, uh, for most of Dane County and areas to the south and east, we are currently not under a drought. But there have also been a few flooding concerns for those areas. But as I mentioned, uh, we'll take the rain that we can get. There is a elevated fire risk today, so also be aware of that, especially for those of you in that drought area. Jacob, thank you. Time for this week's health conversation. This morning, our Shane Hogan sits down with Dr. Shaw to talk about ways to keep your kids' skin looking and feeling healthy. Here now is that conversation. More and more kids and tweens are heading to the skincare aisle for expensive lotions and creams, thanks to, of course, social media influencers. But as some health family medicine physician and wellness coach, Dr. Rupa Shaw says, this trend could cause some skin problems if they're not careful. This is fascinating here. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shaw, why shouldn't young people use some of those same skin care products that we would use as adults? Yeah, so we have to remember that uh, children, adolescents, their um, skin barrier, what we also kind of refer to as that skin microbiome, mm -hmm. is not as developed. Their skin is thinner, it's more sensitive, and it's less resilient overall to different environmental triggers, UV rays. Mm -hmm. So some of the products that adults use are going to be really irritating for for the young skin. Yeah, um, Yeah, and it's going to actually make their skin worse over time. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are there any products out there that are especially harmful to the kids and why? Yeah, definitely. So a lot of these TikTok influencers and such mm -hmm. are really touting these different chemical acids like alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids, retinols, these harsh exfoliants. So kids think they can use these. However, that again disrupts the skin barrier for mm -hmm. these kids, making them actually more prone to more rashes, inflammation, irritation, more acne. Jeez. Over time, the skin becomes drier and more irritated. And again, it becomes even more sensitive to sun, environmental triggers, pollution, so overall, kids may see, oh, my skin is actually getting worse. So it's this vicious cycle that begins by using some of these harsh chemicals if they're not prescribed, you know, by a, by a dermatologist. Yeah, it's yeah. Like just a little too intense at that young yeah, of an age. definitely, definitely. And now, yeah. you know, thinking about some safe ways, because, you know, younger kids are dealing with these things. Yeah, How should they be taking care of their skin? Yeah, so at this age, really simple is best, right? A really gentle cleanser a nice light skin moisturizer without a lot of fragrances is mm -hmm. going to be ideal. And then of course, sunscreen, right? Um, if they're having kind of more issues, uh, getting in to see a board certified dermatologist or their primary care provider to get some good safe tips um, and putting together a skincare regimen that will work with them that's not too harsh but actually being monitored too to make sure that their skin is um, you know kind of reacting well to that regimen. Yeah you know I mean yeah. the, the social media part of this is kind of what intrigues me I mean yeah. are you seeing people come in saying hey I saw this online I want to try this I mean is that out there? Yeah and I think people people are curious right and everybody wants 
wants their skin to look the best, course, right? right? So there is that. Um, so I think people come in and say, like, hey, I want to try this, you know, and we'll talk about it because uh -huh. some aspects of it could be okay right. to try or it might be different strains or different doses of things, right? But there's certain things that really just we shouldn't be doing. Yeah. yeah. Influencing. It's in the yeah. name, folks. It's in the name. Yeah. All right, Dr. Shaw, where else can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at Wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, thank you as yes, always. Thank you. Come up next, a look in sports. The Packers visit Madison, plus a check on how the Brewers did. And let's take a live look outside. Jacob has your full forecast next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. Why won't you? I want fresh air. <laughs> You need the experts. The home renewal experts at Feldco will make your project a breeze with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for six years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. When these orange dreams go frosty, this takes me back, man. It's like taking a trip down memory lane. I didn't know they sold dreamsicles on memory lane. For the flavor that takes you back. Get Wendy's new Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO. This day and age, we spend way too much time scrolling. Instead, join us for some horseplay at the Midwest Horse Fair. Check out insane tricks, hundreds of horses, clinicians, amazing eats, and spectacular shopping. And entertainment like you've never seen, IRL. Sorry, ask your kids what IRL is. It's the great Midwest. Join us at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, April 19th through the 21st. It's the biggest sale of the season at LL Flooring. Save up to 50% on over 300 floors at the Dream Floor event. Get your dream deal with 24-month special financing before April 16th. LL Flooring. Every step covered. At JR's Mulch Sales, mulch is all we do, which is why we do it better. We deliver 10 varieties of mulch seven days a week, right to your door. Call us today. JR's Mulch Sales, spread it around. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know for this week. Nice weather is going to continue today and tomorrow before the stormy weather on Tuesday, although it does look like a lot of the rain won't occur until closer to sunset, if not after sunset. But we are going to be cooler after the storms towards the end of this week. So an alert day is in the forecast Tuesday, especially for southwestern Wisconsin, but all of southern Wisconsin will be in this alert day. Uh, not necessarily for those of you north of Dane County, especially uh, for the Dells and north of that. The severe weather risk does look to be pretty low for you folks. And we're going to see uh, possible high winds, hail, maybe even an isolated tornado with the severe weather. So looking at the severe weather outlook, a marginal risk for Madison in areas just to the east, southeast, and also the west, northwest. But to the southwest of Dane County, including the far southwestern portion of Dane County, there is a slight risk. This includes Platteville, Monroe, Prairie du Chien. There's actually an enhanced risk further southwest of us near Iowa and Missouri, so there's even stronger storms as expected out there. Now, looking at the forecast for the severe weather, 
We aren't going to see any precipitation during the day tomorrow, so enjoy the weather again for your Monday. Clouds will develop late uh, Monday night into Tuesday. And during the day on Tuesday, we could see some showers for areas near Iowa. Also for those of you up in La Crosse and places to the west of La Crosse. But a lot of our area will actually remain fairly dry during the day on Tuesday, with the bulk of the severe weather coming later in the day, possibly well after sunset on Tuesday. So this is around 8 p.m. We're going to start to see those storms move into Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And as we get a little bit later into the evening, into the early overnight hours, those storms will continue to spread out into the rest of our area. Best chance to see those storms for the majority of our region will be around 9 p.m. to midnight as those storms will kind of take their time to make their way into our area. So severe weather is possible, especially around 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. for Dane County. And then just to the east and north of Dane County, we'll see those storms last kind of poss possibly uh, just after midnight. Looking at the possible impact we are going to see the possibility of damaging winds and large hail. An isolated tornado is also possible, especially southwest of Dane County. There's also a minor flooding risk, especially for those of you near the Rock River that have already seen that flood warning from the previous system that brought all that snowfall. So this rain that we see on Tuesday may make the situation a bit worse, but it also will make places that are under the drought it will make those areas a little bit better. Now looking at the full 10 day forecast, it does look like we are going to be dry after that system, although that system may linger into the day on Wednesday, but we are going to be cooler for next weekend as highs will be only in the 50s and possibly upper 40s for Saturday. So the first farmers market was beautiful. Not going to necessarily say it's going to be awful next Saturday, but certainly a lot chillier as temperatures may struggle to reach 50, but we are going to see the temperatures rebound towards the beginning of the following week. In sports, the Brewers entered Saturday as one of the hottest teams in baseball, sitting at 9-3. and three. But could the crew keep things going against the Orioles? The crew is off to their best start in many years, but here in the top of the fourth, they're down 5-4. to four. With William Contreras at bat, though, he gets a straight shot through the middle of the O's, and that would bring Oliver Dunn home. That takes it to a tied ball game. Then later in the inning, the crew with two on and Jake Bowers with an absolute moonshot. Here it comes. There it is. Uh, the crew would go up three and they would never look back. The Brewers go on to win it 11 to five is the final. A few Green Bay Packers stars were in Madison yesterday to check out the 115th fighter wing doing some training and rooting on those who defend our country. And it's actually kind of a smart idea for them to visit an airfield as they'll need their wings in a few months as this week it was announced they play their home opener this coming season in Brazil with Kenny Clark saying he's excited for the upcoming trip. I'm so excited to go to Brazil. Uh, I, I spent some time out there uh, two years ago and uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, you know, a lot of great food, a lot of great people there, uh, big football, um, a big football country. Best season opener, by the way, will come against Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles in Sao Paulo. Well, that's it for sports. Coming up next, Jacob will have one final check of the forecast. Plus, here's today's day in history. Hey, Wisconsin neighbors, the best way to prepare for April showers is by upgrading your shower. Right now we're offering 50% off installation plus a free upgrade to our Jacuzzi Rainfall Shower Head. Change your outdated bathroom in as little as one day with the Jacuzzi Bath Remodel System. We bring the showroom to you and give you half off installation too. Many of our customers like Regina and Dennis were surprised at how easy and stress-free the process was. This has been a great experience. I can't even express it. And they, <laughs> just excited. The, the team actually set the expectation. We just can't wait to see the finished product. Oh, wow. oh my God. Oh, my God. I love it. Thank you, Jacuzzi Bath Remodel. Thank you. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> And Tunderland makes your project affordable with no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2025. Call 1-800-TUNDERLAND or visit tunderland.com today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit.
This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Get your best night's sleep on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Queen Beautyrest mattresses start at just $3.99. Or step up to the comfort and luxury of the Beautyrest Black for just $50 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60-month financing. Plus, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Upgrade your sleep with a Beautyrest adjustable base set and save up to $800. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. We are following those stories very closely with team coverage. When breaking news happens. We continue to follow a tense situation in Janesville. Trust News 3 Now to alert you. Lock your doors, stay inside. The Dane County Sheriff's Office looking for a pair of people, a man and woman who they say are armed. To keep you informed. The scene is still very active here on Highway 51. And to help you stay safe. Your trusted source for breaking news and continuous coverage. News 3 Now, moving forward. All right, let's hear it with Jacob Montesano for one final check of the forecast. Yeah, it's going to be very nice today and tomorrow, but the nice weather won't last forever. We are going to see some scattered storms, especially during the evening and early overnight hours Tuesday, and the possibility of severe weather is there, especially southwest of Dane County. Now, some of those showers may linger into Wednesday. We are going to see possibly a thunderstorm or two Wednesday, but we're not expecting severe weather. As we get towards the end of the week, we're going to see high temperatures a bit cooler compared to today and tomorrow with highs only in the lower 50s, possibly only upper 40s for Saturday. But the temperatures do look to rebound for the following week. So if you didn't get out and enjoy the weather yesterday, today might be even better. There is a there's a possibility that a few locations south of Dane County near the Illinois border could reach the 80s. Now, a lot of our area will stay in the 70s, but nonetheless, this will likely be the warmest day of the year so far. But don't worry too much about the end of the 10 day forecast because we are going we are in middle April, so temperatures typically will continue to rise. So we'll be back to this level eventually. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you all for watching. Have a great Sunday, folks.